As Congress continues looking for ways to improve health care coverage, we're going to focus tonight on an alternative being embraced by tens of thousands of Americans. They are evangelical Christians, and their alternative to traditional insurance is based on faith and on each other. It's much cheaper than most insurance plans, but critics say it may be taking advantage of the faithful. Dan Harris explains in our Closer Look. When Scott and Rachel Kramer, gospel musicians from outside of Peoria, Illinois, discovered that their son Weston was autistic, they spent $30,000 on early intervention therapy. All of it was paid for by strangers, fellow Christians who sent checks and cards and prayers. It was just a simple note saying, you know, even though we don't know you, we want you to know that we're thinking of you and we are certainly going to pray for your son. The Kramers belong to something called Samaritan Ministries, a cheaper, faith-based alternative to health insurance. Families pay $285 a month directly to other members who happen to have major health care bills that month. I find it to be a much superior model to what the health insurance industry does because it's personal. Samaritan is one of three large Christian health care plans with more than 100,000 members all told. To join, you need to be a church-going evangelical who promises not to smoke, drink heavily, or have extramarital sex. But there is a catch. If I'm a member and my child gets a catastrophic illness, are you guaranteeing that that coverage will be paid? No, we're not. And that is certainly the faith-based element in what we're doing. You're asking me to take a lot on faith there. Samaritan insists it has never failed to cover a member's medical bill in its 15 years of existence. But there are no guarantees because these Christian health plans are not technically insurance and are therefore unregulated by the government. These are commercial relationships. Uh, dollars and cents are involved. Financial security is involved. Faith alone will not solve the problem. There have been abuses. A jury in Akron, Ohio, found that the leaders of one plan spent members' money on cars, houses, and vacations. One of your critics said, and I'm quoting here, I think these people take advantage of deeply religious people who are desperate for affordable health coverage. Yeah, I don't think we're taking advantage of anyone. First thing we do is we make sure everyone understands completely. As for the Kramers, they say they have no reservations and that they get a benefit that people in regular insurance do not the power of prayer. Dan Harris, ABC News, Peoria, Illinois.